Welcome to this episode of Poji OG. Welcome to our Christmas break and welcome inside the monastery. We've arrived in Engelberg, Switzerland, where we have come to pray, relax, have some fun, and hang out with the monks. So, I wanted you to join us. Reminds me of that poem from uh, John Valley Hopkins, The Grandeur of God. Yusuf Nade? He says, The world is charged with the grandeur of God. And you look out over these Alps and you just get filled with so much excitement to be up here on the top of the world. You know, it kind of reminds me, you know, Jesus always went to the mountaintop to pray. So I think today is a good opportunity for us to glorify God by being up here and praise Him and uh, give thanks for this opportunity to just turn our, our day into a prayer. Yeah, I agree entirely. So if I could get a quick word, how'd you feel about that, that Swiss air that you took earlier? The Swiss air, man. The Swiss air is so fresh, it's so nice. It's a beautiful time up here, and it's just fun to, to shred the gnar with you, man. Yeah, no, I specifically, I mean the, the Swiss air that you took. Oh yeah, the Swiss air. It was fun, yeah, it was a good time, you know, rocking the Swiss flag and just just in uh, enjoying the Alpine, yeah. Yeah, very good. Well, thanks, yeah, man. Let's keep shredding. Too. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Well, it's a pleasure to be here with Brent Dershmitt, seminarian for the Archdiocese of Portland in Oregon. Yeah, buddy. Brent, we are blessed to be able to stay at the monastery with these Benedictine monks. I just want to know, what has your experience been like thus far? It's been amazing. I think one of my favorite things is just entering into the silence of the place because it's a very quiet monastery. Uh, we have our meals in silence. We, um, the, the church is always silent to, when we go and pray. Um, and so really like entering into the silence, it, it really kind of puts you into the nativity scene um, in in the, basically the barn where, where Jesus was born. I can't imagine there were any, there was anybody else out there. So it was just, that's why they call it silent night, silent night, holy night. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so to really like enter into that silence while we're here has been absolutely incredible. Being out here in the Lord's beauty yeah. For us. Well, how about, how about we give the viewers a tour of this beauty here? What do you say? Let's do that. Thanks for your time, Brent. Let's shred. All right. Good word. Can we go over 
the Jacques Pass again gets to or should we stay over here? And he said, for sure, stay here. Yeah. Yeah, this is where all the gnar is, in this area. Yeah. Yeah, it's full of gnar. During my time staying with the monks in Switzerland, I learned a lot about the monastic life. A monastery is primarily a place to worship God. For the community which lives there, in their rhythm of work, prayer, and study, and also for the many people who come there from around the town and around the world. It's a place to pray and encounter God. And this happens primarily in the chapel, as we learned during the Christmas Vigil Mass. Another characteristic that struck me about the monastery was the importance of the library. We had the opportunity to see many libraries of the monasteries of Switzerland, and it struck me how important they were for the preservation of culture throughout history. Oh, it's this book. The many manuscripts and historical texts that were preserved there have given us today a very rich resource of study. So they hid it. Right. The French did take all this stuff to, from Rome to, uh, to Paris. Yeah. And much of it was given back, but... Uh, right. All of it. I interviewed Father Mark Sheridan, and he had a word to share about what the library was for a monastic community. Well, it's for reading, and uh, because what is called in Latin Lexio Divina originally means reading the scriptures and commentaries on them uh, to help you absorb the content of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's the basic idea. Now, a library like this, of course, is for scholarly purposes as well. So they have a tradition of scholars here mm -hmm. and who need more than just ancient manuscripts. You have to have the modern. So this is why they've got all these uh, periodicals. And mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Poji OG, or I guess in German, Poji Heute, and tune in next time as we head to Innsbruck, Austria, where we'll continue to live the monastic way.